Hi everyone, I'm going to be building a powerful home server node. The goal of this project is to be able to run AI and ML workloads from within my own home. But here's the twist. I'm using second-hand parts, which are all sourced from online marketplaces. And my budget? Around 1,000 US dollars. Let's get started. My first stop was the Facebook marketplace. I was on the hunt for a PC chassis that could house the beast of a GPU I had in mind. A 3090 from eBay. That's when I stumbled upon this used PC. It had already been listed for a few weeks. This is a good sign that there might be room to negotiate. The rig was originally listed for 500 US dollars. It contained the following parts on the screen. It was a pretty solid setup on its own but it still had room for the upgrade that I had planned. I made an initial offer of 250 US dollars without the GPU. The seller then responded saying her lowest price was 360 US dollars as is. Seeing the potential, I took the deal. Next up, I headed to eBay where I found the GPU for this build. The original listing was for 840 US dollars but I managed to weasel it down to 700 US dollars by using the offer now button. Once the deal was sealed, it was time to go pick up the PC. I met the seller in my city and before I handed over the cash, I asked her to power on the machine. This was to make sure it posted to BIOS without any issues. A crucial step when buying used tech. Fortunately, everything checked out and the PC was now mine. After two days, the express package arrived. The components were in place for the build. In my plan to swap the old GPU with a more powerful RTX 3090, I overlooked a key detail. The 3090 requires two PCIe power cables, not just the one that came with the PC. This oversight led to an unexpected expense. I had to purchase a new power supply. I chose to purchase the Thermaltake Tough Power GF1 750 watt snow edition. This was because it was a TA high end PSU listed in Linus Tech Tips PSU tier list. It cost me 130 US dollars. Here's a quick build montage of the PSU and GPU switcher. I didn't break it. I then integrated the new GPU server to add GPU capabilities to my existing two-node Kubernetes cluster. After installing Ubuntu server and micro k adding a node was as simple as using the add node and join commands. As you can see, running the kube control get nodes command will show that the new machine is in the cluster. Describing the node, we should be able to examine that the GPU is now available. So we scroll up, we can see the capabilities attached, the labels have been attached, the NVIDIA labels, as well as seeing the allocatable resource of one GPU. 
I'm going to be using this to run jobs for my project Headbot. Have you ever wondered what you'd look like as a Greek god? Well wonder no more. Simply upload 5 headshots of yourself and my shiny GPU node will be doing the rest. We also offer an anime style. I hope this video inspires you to go out and create your own machine. 